So, uh, with you made me... I have to wait. The thing is, I never know when the song's over. Uh, <laughs> I forgot uh, you can't hear it. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, with you made me do this, like I do every single week. We did miss last week because it was just such a jam-packed show. We, wa we wanted to make sure that we got to uh, a topic this week. Uh, every week, though, I go on to our Facebook and Twitter feed, and I post, hey, what would you like us to talk about this week? It can be anything nerdy. Uh, you leave us a comment, and then me and Patrick, and then if you want to join us live, you're welcome to join too. Uh, we will uh, then talk about that live in a nice little segment called You Made Me Do This. So this week, we're going to talk about underused video game characters. So characters that we think deserve a little bit more love. I, I and I think this is this is a fun topic. So thank you. Uh, was this was this Alex? This was Alex. This was Alex. Awesome. Thank you, Alex, for the for the topic. Um, I think you and I like immediately thought of the same one. So I want to yeah. save that for a bit. I want um, I, I want that one to be the last one. It's exactly what I was thinking. Cool. We're on the same page. Um, yeah. I have a joking a, answer first. Okay. Well, there's. Go ahead. What, what what's your joking? My answer? my joking answer is every Pokemon not named Pikachu. Okay. Okay. Yes, yes, that's true. Because I will, I will admit, I love Pikachu. I'm not like hipster where I'm like I loved it before, but like I liked Pikachu when like the show came on. But yeah. but like in the games, there's so much more. And to me, that's like a really good tell of someone if they got into the game first or if they got into it, the anime first. Yeah. Because if their favorite is Pikachu, chances are they watched the show, and that's not a bad thing. Yeah. But but super I feel cute. like he's super cute. He is. He really is. Like Raichu's cuter though. So like if you want to, Raichu's do that. awesome. Yeah. So like there's so many uh, there's so many cute Pokemon that you could go with. So yeah, I, I, I agree with that. Yeah. So um, like if there could just be like a Squirtle. Like I mean we're gonna. I mean I'm obviously gonna go mainly original 151. Sure. Although I really do love Totodile. I think yeah. Totodile is super underused. Yeah. That's uh, that's Johto and that. He's got the Donald Duck sounding voice with his toe dial, the little crocodile. Like, come on, just use some other Pokemon. Yep. yep. There's so, there's tons of cute ones, but that's what Detective Pikachu says. Yeah. No, I, I gotcha. Anyways, um, I I was thinking of one that I I think is overutilized, and and I don't know if someone else would. <sighs> this, this is what I thought of. So just what it's underutilized. Oh. Okay. I feel and and as a caveat, because it's basically one game, but okay. Tifa Lockhart. I feel like she should have been a bigger part uh, of the game given her history. Like, they're just like, oh, we got a history. Cloud and I have a history. And then when you get out into the world, it's barely talked about, I guess, because there's uh, there's so much other stuff going on. But I feel like, the, like there was a, a supposed, or it felt like they were trying to do love triangle with, with Eris and Cloud and Tifa. Which they were. And I felt like from a writing perspective it was like okay but i didn't see the like the pull as much on tifa's side before or after the death so i feel like she was underutilized i mean there's the there's where they go back to man and i'm gonna feel real bad uh because it's one of my favorite games i'm just not really good at remembering names i want to say it's nibbleheim yep uh where they go back to her hometown and yep. they they do show that part of things they show when cloud left to go to yeah. soldier um and they show that the stuff where she gets involved with sephiroth uh i i mean she has like some of the in terms of the characters that you play as she has some of the deepest um backstory personally but like to me she's more the glue like i mean yeah Cloud's kind of a pansy. Uh, oh, yeah, no, it's true. That's true. And I, no, I, and part of it was also because, like, I absolutely love the character, <laughs> anyways. So, um, yep. Spoiler alert on a 22 year old game, Robert. I'm sorry. Yeah. You're right. Watch out for them spoilers, guys. They're gonna be flying. I I said the death. I didn't say who died. Any of those characters. Air stud. <laughs> oh. I was gonna yell out another. I don't even spoiler, care. But like, I was gonna yell out another spoiler, but like, I know it's a, I know it's an older game, but someone legit posted a thing. Uh, it was one of those things. It was like, um, like a confession or whatever, like, uh, of feeling uncomfortable. And they were talking about like, they, they're younger, 
So I think they were like 17 or 18, and they'd never seen The Sixth Sense. But they've known the twist their entire lives. Yeah. Which, or like close to their entire lives, whatever it is. But like, to me, it was, it made me really feel like, oh, like I can't assume, especially if I'm around younger people, like I can't assume that they, you know, that they've seen these things or that they know these things. But like, yeah, I get it. I it's get like it. the like, only good Shyamalan movie. Just Unbreakable. Uh, uh, no, I'm, just, on, I'm taking a dig on, at you. Man. I'm taking a dig at you. I'm going to come at you. I'm going to come at you. So, but yeah, part of it's Tifa and, um, uh, yeah, and, you know, the video game childhood crush. But, you know, you never know. Tifa is awesome. You? What's another uh, one? I'm going to go with uh, Crash Bandicoot. Uh, we too. we even talked about him in the last segment. If you were here live watching the news, or if you uh, listened to the podcast, uh, because CTR is coming out in June. But honestly, and I'm a, I'm actually going to pair this with Spyro as well. I'm just going to put these two together. Crash and Spyro need more games. Like the they're criminally underused in terms of uh, childlike platformers that Sony can take advantage of. Like you have. They have a Sony has a lot of more mature content at this point, and understandably so. Their their first parties are focusing on getting these deep narrative games, and that's not what Crash and Spyro are. But there are, are so many studios out there that could take these characters for you if you would just let them and make some fun games. Like mm -hmm. out of all the things that you see Mario do, where there's just all this crazy stuff like. I would love to do more things with Crash and Spyro. Um, yeah, Crash was Crash was supposed to be PlayStation's. You know, their guy. Man, those their, commercials were great. Yeah, it was their it was their Sonic. Oh, the commercials were were hilarious. I may I may need to add that into some some of our future projects. But like, yeah, those those were hilarious. They were they were great. But it, it showed the PlayStation attitude uh, in regards to that. But like that was supposed to be their um, uh, their mascot and. They just dropped the, they dropped the ball on it. But yeah, I, I agree. I'd love season crash. I, I'm with you on that, Robert. By the way, uh, he mentioned uh, Ratchet and Clank in the chat. I do yeah. think, I think even though Ratchet and Clank has had a decent, number, I think they had five or six. They again just underutilize. Like there's been one Ratchet and Clank game on PS4. I know that Insomniac's busy doing other great things like Spider Man. Uh, but again, you know. Farm it out, Sony. Like, yeah. I, I, it would be. Uh, I mean, even though I'd feel a little bad, like you can't take Ratchet and Clank away from Sony. Sure, but sure. give them some money and be like, hey, give it, give us another one. Like, I agree. I agree. The the remake was great. It's fantastic. Do it again. Sorry, go ahead. No, 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 I was gonna say, um, my next pick is one that you couldn't farm out though. Um, I don't think they'll farm out. Uh, Raiden from Metal Gear. Um, Ooh because I think it's a great character in a good game, but it is a game that is so different than the rest. It's not quite there, Super, Super Mario 2, but it's such a different game that a lot of people didn't play it or didn't give Raiden any credit because he's not Snake. And because he's not Snake, he's just thrown in the bin. Um, I think it's a great character that, that you could do a lot with. Um, yeah, which one do you play as him? Is that uh, four? Metagill Rising Revengeance. Right. Okay. Because he's yeah. in. He's in some of the other ones briefly, right? Like very. Yeah. He's he's in them yeah. briefly, and then they were like, "Yeah, you get to play as Raiden," and everyone's like, "Why? Why?" Like, yeah. Some people wanted it, but it was not. It wasn't a transition that made sense, in my opinion. Um, I think it was. I mean, I'm curious uh, how much Kojima was involved in that one. Now we'll we'll look at that later, though, because I'm wondering if. Or I'll look at it later because it makes me feel like he wasn't involved as much. But maybe uh, it's just hey, let's see. Right, you said it was Rising Revengeance. Yep. Uh, Konami, Kenji Saito. His name is not on the on the big credits. It was made Boom. by Plat It was made by Platinum Games. There you go. Okay. Um, I think it's I remember seeing this at GDQ. Now it's a hack and slash, isn't it? Yeah, it's a hack and slash. Yeah, okay. And uh, one, of the, one of itself. the things that I thought, like, the only thing that I was like, oh, this is really cool, there was yeah. a demo doing the hack and slash of showing him, like, cutting up watermelon. Okay. And it was, because remember, this is the PS3 era, um, not that long ago, but it was specifically showing, look, you cut 
the watermelon and you can see where it cut. It's not just uh, it broke into multiple objects as those kind of things used to be. Like you yeah. were actually, you were, it was actually showing exactly where it sliced. Um, like I said, as opposed to it randomly popping into two different objects, kind of like uh, Overcooked does. Uh, Overcooked's a cartoony version of it, but yeah. that's how graphics used to be. And in this case, like, oh no, we can actually, you know, create this in real time and render this real time. So I think it's really cool. Yeah, I'm glad that you're bringing some more outside the first party things because whenever I was thinking about it, I was thinking about just characters who have been around forever. Oh, I was like, too in franchises that have been around forever. Yeah, like yeah. A, a, a certain green-hatted gentleman uh, who does not get nearly the love they should as the... He got a whole month of Luigi, though. What are you talking about? <laughs> a whole month of Luigi. He got a whole month. But he also, he also straight up, like, got killed in the Smash trailer. Like, just murdered. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but Luigi. And, honestly, Waluigi as well. I know okay, that that's a little bit more of a that. joke answer, but yeah. if you're going to show Wario as much as you do, like... Bring on the Waluigi. Like, let's have a Luigi Waluigi game. Oh, I, uh, I, I completely agree. No, because you said Wario's in like everything. Waluigi's yeah. great. That's one of my actual, like I think is hilarious. Uh, and I love. Uh, I actually play like if I'm playing um, super. If I'm playing um, Mario Kart, I usually play Waluigi. So, I think okay. I think he's a cool character. Oh, sorry, uh, um, yeah, Waluigi. Yeah, yeah I think. Uh, just the both of them. I know that Luigi has gotten some games, and uh, what is it? Ma mansion. What's the mansion game? Uh, Haunted Mansion. mansion. Yeah. 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 The, the new one's coming out. That's that's good. That's cool. It's a step in the right direction. Um, the fact that he was in everybody was in Mario Rabbids, but I just think there's enough there to where you could do more things with like Luigi Waluigi without Mario and Wario. Just have it be those two it's not like this is a character that has like a, a deep backstory or anything like that it's more just i've always liked luigi better i think ever since super mario 2 yeah. uh i always liked how he jumped i liked the fact that like he just seemed not like the short chubby guy yeah. uh you know he seemed like somebody who actually would get some stuff done i don't know how mario always takes the spotlight <laughs> but you know Luigi's always there somewhere. He seems like he's more physically adept than, uh, than yeah. Mario. Yeah, I would, I'd agree. Um, you and I had the same answer on there. Do you have any others, or was that your... No, I'm just going to go to the last one. That's fine. Okay, yeah, because I, I didn't have any others. But um, you and I both had the same answer in this, because as soon as it was posted, yeah, um, I thought of Zelda. Absolutely. How have we not gotten anything other than Smash? where I get to play as Zelda, especially after Ocarina of Time. Ocarina of Time introduces her as a BA ninja in Sheik, or Shike, depending on how you say it. Everybody, that's probably one of those controversial pronouncements, but- I said Sheik, I don't know. It's, it's the legend of Zelda. It's yeah. in the title of the game. Yeah. How is she not ever a playable character? We've had, how many games now? 16, 17? A lot. A ridiculous amount. Never been a playable character. I thought she was going to be a playable character in Breath of the Wild. I thought there would be a moment where she was in there too. Uh, I really thought that they were going to do some kind of thing where when you met up with her and she's telling you kind of the story, like there's, for those of you who haven't played Breath of the Wild, I'm not going to spoil it, it's not a big spoilable game anyway, but there's points of the of interest around the world that you can walk up to as Link and you will get some story um, from Zelda. Like, you will... She'll be talking to you. Um, really cool moments. I thought that when we were seeing some of those, I thought that at some point, maybe during Link's slumber, because in this case, this particular Link uh, had to go... To sleep for a hundred years while he healed from his mortal wounds i thought that that would be a point where we could see zelda fighting ganon yeah. off um because that's apparently what she's doing is fighting the entire time uh for a hundred years didn't yeah. age a day still looking How good amazing is that right and and you're the hero of time yeah 
So, <laughs> exact. She's fighting this whole time. You just come and walk in. It's like, oh, I got a master sword. Get this chick. Yeah. How is she not a playable character ever? And that was uh, a crazy easy last battle too. Like, oh, I was so OP. Yeah. Especially if, it, especially the second time I played through it and finished all the shrines and had twenty hearts and. Yeah. I I was so overpowered. Well, I didn't. I was I was looking into upgrading my armor, but I was like, if I do, it was I think it was the last upgrade, and I was like, yeah. I'm gonna have to. I, I started to farm the items and I was like, you know what? Yeah. I don't think it's worth it. And then I, so I went and I, and I expected some challenge and it, the only challenge was um, I lost my horse. Um, I got knocked off my horse and my horse ran away. In the fight? In the fight. It's supposed to come back to you. Never in came that, back. In that particular fight. I know. Never came back. I still beat him. But yeah, never, yeah it was, it never came That's back. That's funny. Yeah, to, but yeah, to me, this is a character that is barely used when you think of of in my opinion i can only think of three zelda games where she is important enough to be in like cinematics or in story and i say it's ocarina breath of the wild and wind waker i can't think of any Correct. others i can't think of any others where uh, I'm like, she's a huge part of the story other than her being captured well She's not huge in Skyward Sword, but she does have a much bigger... That's one of... Other than Breath of the Wild, that's one of the only times where okay. she actually knows you from the beginning. Yeah. Like, you're friends with Zelda at the beginning of Skyward Sword. Yeah. Uh, yeah go ahead. I, I got you. I got you. No, no, I, I didn't think about that. Like, I played it, but I forgot that you knew her. But I... I, I don't know. Okay, once, once, once the capturing part happens, then yes. it, it goes back to standard Zelda fair. But she was exactly. the, like, she did have a little bit more of a role there in the beginning where you guys are actually friends. Yeah. Uh, it's just a, it's a thing that I know that a lot of people have complained about before, and it's a thing, that, it's a thought that I have. I love playing. It's a weird thing that I have that I like playing girl characters. If there's a girl character, I will play it. If there's a uh, option to pick between a guy and a girl character, I always like playing it. But in this particular case, like the game is named after her. Yeah. Like she's she's apparently uber powerful. Like uh, in in certain games, anyway. In other games, yeah. she's not. But she always has some sort of like skill. So there's yeah. there's some kind of thing that she knows how to do. Whether it be she's a ninja in part time, uh, she can do magic. She has a piece of the Triforce mm -hmm. uh, attached to her in wisdom. And I know that wisdom isn't isn't the power of courage thing, but there's still something there where yeah. you're you have a piece of the gods like I, I bet you can do a couple things yeah i think you know i agree uh mage wise or even um what i actually pitched uh as an as an idea uh actually andy uh one of my friends mentioned it and i kind of expanded on it but like why not have a game where okay she's captured but like while you're trying to rescue her she's she's like helping you from the inside or doing like kind of subterfuge or i used to be sabotage at that point sabotage or like investigation that adds to the story kind of like in um mary jane does in the spider-man game like yeah. she's not the main part of the game but you have segments where you get to play as her and they were yeah. great yeah yeah and that was one of the first uh, you know one of the first times you play like a game like spider-man where you're not spider-man the whole time yeah uh worked. morales is in there and, mm -hmm. and mary jane's in there so yeah zelda is just too underused uh i think it would be really cool if one game that if they were if they were doing if they were willing to go like the legend of link and make like <laughs> like instead of the princess zelda it's the prince link and zelda is the the ba uh that has to go be the hero of time like uh, or there's another version that people have written where it's Linkle, and I really hope that they never do Linkle. No. That would be an awful, awful idea. No, do not I, do I Linkle. Think, yeah. uh, do you we know who I'm talking about? Yeah, I know you're talking from, about. Uh, from Hyrule Warriors? Yeah, and we don't need it. Like, Zelda's right there. Like, yeah. she's a great character. Um, and to me, you know, it's... Think of it as a, as a, as a maybe a writing prompt. You know what? That's how we're going to end the video. Tell us how you would put zelda into the game because all these characters are great but zelda is the most important tell us how you would put zelda into a game so you could play zelda and 
really experience the world through her eyes. Yeah. Listen in the comments. So that was you made me do this again each week. Put up that post up on Facebook and Twitter. We talk about what you want to talk about. We're show for not just ourselves. Me and Patrick can talk all day, literally, about pretty much anything. Yeah. But we also want to talk about what you want to talk about as well. So look out for those posts on Facebook and Twitter. Comment on those. And uh, feel free to participate after the fact. Who are your other underused video game characters? That's right. Have fun, guys. Okay, bye! Thanks for watching This Week in Our Collective Heads. Uh, subscribe over here and click the bell. And that way you'll know about any new videos that we put up. Because we put up a lot of uh, gameplay, a lot of stories from games and stuff like that. And gameplay is down here. Yeah, and you got more editorials and new stuff down here. Check it out.